Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video we have a few things to unbox as well as talk about. As you'll see over there, there is a engine block that looks a little different, but let's go ahead and get into it starting off with these Rock Auto boxes. This is our crankshaft seal kit for the Volkswagen engine, which comes with a new front plate here. Um, I thought I had the old one sitting around, but I don't think I do anymore. I'll probably put it away. But this is definitely a lot cleaner, more promising, and I assume this is just a cover, yeah. So that's our first box, along with a magnet. Howard's car. <laughs> and then here we have a smaller seal. I don't know what it's exactly. Um, okay, that's probably something on the camshaft or the crankshaft as well. And then this bigger box here is, I believe, our rod bearings or main bearings. Um, let's double check. Okay, so we got timing chain. Timing chain tensioners, um, other tensioners, other timing chain. Um, one of these is the timing chain, one of these is the other chain. Um, and in here we have um, a timing chain seal gasket thingy, and then the big tensioner. This one, lastly, we have the other big tensioner. Did they send us two? I'm not entirely sure. It looks like the same thing. I could be mistaken though. But this is a lot of, this is all timing stuff. Um, so that's very good. And then there's one more box that I want to show you that I will open up and then you'll take a look inside. But first, we gotta put Howard's Bonneville on the fridge over here. There we go. All right, so what you just saw me unbox was a, yes, Chinese clone of a Garrett 3076. It's either GT or GTX. I don't remember the exact lettering there. Um, but the main purpose of this thing is not necessarily to power the engine, but to learn from this. Because it was so cheap, we don't want to get a full turbo to mess around with and kind of take apart because this thing is more of like a learning tool than it is going to be used as a turbo um, because I am taking Garrett's free turbo expert certification course right now and this is a good to have like a model in front of me um, this is only about a hundred dollars on eBay so why don't we take a look at it here it is pretty heavy Say. Here we go. And here we have our compressor. 
and our turbine with our inlet here coming from the exhaust going into here and then all of that hot air comes out goes to the exhaust system and then the shaft in here that gets spun by the hot air that's connected to this blade goes to this one it's a direct one-to-one -one shaft so this spins the same speed as that one and this one is some crazy number like 120 180,000 rpm that'll spin at but then when this spins this inlet here sucks in air from the intake and then intake um, goes into here spins gets spun and compressed and this gets smaller I mean bigger as it goes and then it comes out and this goes to the inner cooler and then after that goes to the intake manifold and that's basically the gist of it this is a decent sized turbo and the listing did say it was good for 500 horsepower I don't know how accurate that is seeing that it is a clone but I don't know if we're gonna do this on the engine or not to just play around but I know it will for sure be a good learning tool so moving on over here we have the pistons from the engine um, in the last video I know it was just kind of like a whole jumbled mess but since then we have completely taken it apart and I'll get to the block in a second but here's our cylinder head up here with the camshafts taken out and all the lifters still in as long with the valves and valve springs and then our crankshaft here as well um, and we're gonna keep all this stock because these internals the stock internals are good for about 400 wheel horsepower a lot of the guys on the forums have been saying with this specific engine and so here are the pistons that we um these were all really crappy on the top like the buildup was pretty intense but it was very flaky so it came off very easily and this new ultrasonic cleaner we got from harbor freight and my dad did a review on that and if i remember I will link his channel in the video in the description. So you can check that out if you're interested. Um, and then moving on to the block. So this is an iron block, so it's very easy to paint, um, easier than aluminum at least. And so what I did is I taped off all the sealed surfaces like the water pump up here, the uh, head gasket place, the uh, front and rear seals, and then the oil pump stuff as well. And then on the bottom, I just didn't go down there, but all this was taped off as well to prevent any paint getting in there. And then this is simply VHT, uh, high temperature paint. Um, I used this primer, which is good for 2000 Fahrenheit. This paint, which is, this can was like really old and crappy, so it looks like it's actually leaked out. I need to clean that up. This is good for 650. This was for the block. This is the actual paint and then the clear coat is good for 2000 as well and uh, we threw all that on there and we also clean the block with um, O'Reilly's engine degreaser and some oven cleaner as well works very well on the aluminum parts like the oil pan spacer right here but this paint is called titanium I believe or like arctic something um, and I just went around and did two coats of like everything I think it looks pretty decent and filled in a lot of the um, kind of messy spots from the iron kind of oxidizing there all around. Looks pretty good. I'm happy with the color. I think it's a pretty unique color because it has a tinge of blue to it. Um, and then we're also going to have a, a friend clean up the ports and the rest of the head for us. So we have a lot of stuff going on here with the engine. Everything taken apart, eBay Turbo, and here's some of the parts over here. Um, so here's that thing I was trying to find earlier. This is the old front crank seal. Um, there's our exhaust manifold, which is going to get replaced with a turbo manifold. Um, and then this is our uh, the thing that holds camshafts in place. The camshafts are down there, um, and then there's the... Um, timing cover I think that is it might be the front though I think that's actually the timing cover. Um, however we are going to be turbocharging the 07k and we're gonna have a goal of around 350 horsepower 
which is pretty good on the stock internals and it won't it'll be pretty stress free but um I don't know if this is going to be the one we're going to be using if not we'll be going for a precision 5431 or a Garrett GT 3071 3071 whichever one that is 3071R but uh yeah that's what we have going on now on the Porsche and we have a few more parts coming in to finish up the brake system and yeah thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time bye